Water main break causing headline headaches tonight for people who live or work in the area. Yeah, and this time it's on Colonial Boulevard. This comes just days after the city fixed a 24 inch water line by Treeline Elementary School. You can see the mess in this video. A Wink News reporter Jolina Sperdo joins us live in Fort Myers. And Jolina, what is the cause of the latest break? We still don't know the cause of this latest break here. Now, a city spokesperson did tell me a pressure analysis showed it probably started as a small crack about five this morning, and it turned into what we see here right now. And that's concerning a lot of people because, again, very close by, just two days ago, there was another water main break of the same size. So crews have been working on the side of the road here all day since this morning to locate that broken water line. They have located it, and they do plan to replace it tonight. This boil water notice is not fun for anyone. The area near Treeline Avenue has been under one since Wednesday after a 24 inch water main broke there. And now another 24 inch water main broke on Colonial Boulevard Friday morning. Crews worked for hours to find the leak. The city of Fort Myers has not yet said what caused these breaks or when the boil water notice will be rescinded. I'm probably going to buy a gallon of water now just to kind of have extra because we drink our bottled water um, and we drink a lot of water. So does she. So I'll probably end up having to buy a gallon just to have for the day. Janacee Velez has lived near the forum for four years now, told me dealing with the boil water notice is a pain. And Brad Robinson and his wife agree. She didn't. She couldn't wash her hair. It took her about 30 minutes to take a shower. So it was a pain in the butt. She was trying to rush to get to work. Two water main breaks over a span of three days in the same vicinity. Fort Myers Public Utilities Director says it's unpreventable and the two weren't related. It is unusual in that we don't typically have that frequency, but in terms of whether or not we could predict that or next week we'll have a recurrence, it's, it's almost impossible to tell. Now the water plant staff said 1.5 million gallons of water were lost just from this break here today. And the utilities director told me that the water line system here really is not old. It was put in between 2002 and 2004, and he said the average lifespan of a PVC pipe is between 60 and 80 years. Now, new at 7, you're going to hear more about the alert system the city has in place to keep people up to date about the latest on this water. Live in Fort Myers, Jolina Esquerdo, Wink News.